In Onshape, you can create whole tables on your drawings. Here I am in a part studio. I have a single part. It is a fixture base. There are a number of holes already in this model. One thing to be aware of, as soon as you create your first hole in a part studio, you are going to get a whole table available from the panel fly out over on the left. And here you can see the tags that are automatically designated for these various different holes in the model. You can see that we have a column for the various different sizes and the quantities. Let's collapse the whole table panel. And now I'm going to start creating a drawing to include the whole table on the drawing sheet. Let me select the part in the parts list. And then from the right mouse button menu, I can create a drawing of the fixture base. And I'm going to go to my ISO templates. Let's show all the different on shape templates. And these are the ones that come provided for you automatically. I'm going to use an A size sheet. You could specify whether it automatically creates four views on the sheet for you, or you can create them manually with the no views selection. Let's click the OK button. And here is my drawing started out. It automatically opens up the insert view dialog box and it wants to know what orientation that I want. Let's start with a top view. And it's giving me a scale of one to four. Let's use something a little bit bigger. Let's use a scale of a half. Yeah, it's kind of big for this sheet, but that's okay. And let's locate the view with the left mouse button. And then I can create a projection view off to the side. Let me left click for that one. And that's good. Oh, let me create one more projection view to the top of this. Now that I have my three views for the different holes, to create a whole table, it is from this icon in the ribbon. It just says whole table. And here we have the tooltip. Select views for the table to apply to and also define the origin location within a view if desired. And then click to place the whole table on the drawing sheet. So I will click on the command. Here we have the dialog box. There's an option here to show the location data. I want to do that. And then we have the location precision. And by default, it is two decimal places, uh, same as the drawing. But you could go to more decimal places if you want. Now we need to select the views that we are going to use. I will select my front view. And you can see a preview of the table being generated. Here we can specify the origin location for the view. And I already have the origin where I want it to be. I like using the origin for the part studio. Let me choose the X direction for this view. And I will select this edge for X and then this for Y. And then you have the ability to exclude certain holes. So for example, I have this big giant hole right in the middle, which I really don't want it considered as a hole, so I could exclude it from the table. So there I have one view located in here. I'm gonna click in the collector just to make sure it's active. Let's also select this view. And similarly, for this one, the top view for the Actually, this is for the front view. Uh, here we have the origin, and for the X direction, I will select this edge in the Y direction. I will choose this one, and so there I have two views. Be aware that if you wanted X and Y going in the opposite directions, you have a couple of icons to flip the direction of the reference being used. Let me collapse these two views just to make it a little bit shorter, and I can add in one other additional view in here. And for this particular one, again, yes, we will use the origin. For the X direction, maybe I want it to use this edge. And for the Y direction, I want it to use this edge. So we're using something slightly different in this particular case. Then you can specify the order of the holes, whether they are going from top to bottom or bottom to top. And then you can specify which corner of the table should be the fixed corner. I'm going to use the upper left-hand corner. Everything looks good. Now I hit the check mark, and you can see that the table is attached 
to my mouse at the upper left hand corner. I can left click in order to place the table on the drawing. And there we have it. So once again, we have the different tags. As you hover your mouse over any one of these different entities, you can see that they highlight in the appropriate view. We have the X and Y locations, we have the sizes, and we have the quantities. And again, when you hover your mouse over the entities in the table, you can see that they cross highlight in the appropriate view. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshow.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.